Now, what's next? I have to show you guys the spa. You want to you wanna try it? Yeah, cool. All right, let's do it. I'm not getting splashed. I want this all blurred out. I'm going to fancy that first to encounter it. Flash, idiot, you got it on the ceiling. See, they laugh about the Alright, come on, dude. One of the richest mansions in Abermill, they said. Just kick back and relax, they said. I'm a custodian now. Naperville IL kind of sort of my stomping grounds went to college out there lived there like six years of my life Eddie's been wanting to do this for so long Eddie thinks that we're going to Mars for some reason we are right by the United Center and we are 36 minutes in away 27 miles it is uh, not Mars it's a very normal place to be I know Eddie probably thinks that considering I'm a product of the area it's not bad this is a crazy ass neighborhood I feel kind of fucking ghetto driving a Nissan Altima out here, but it is what it is. They can fuck themselves if they don't like it. Made it to Naperville. Something tells me the property value is about to go down here. Never. Two acres, $10.5 million house. This'll do. This little six car garage. Let's see what they're packing. Casual, casual six car garage. Which garage do we drink in? All right, everyone, we're gonna fight the Naperville stigma of everyone saying it's the richest, bougiest place by showing you the richest mansion in Naperville, $10.5 million, let's go. It's a push, it's a push. So we're at the most expensive home in Naperville, 10.5 million. Is this uh, Monet? So, no, <laughs> it's not. Well, that's questionable. But, right you know, we can ask the owner. Let's look at the little formal living room. Little piano room. Just cozy, badass piano. Every room, almost every room has a fireplace. Is this a Baldwin? Baldwin. It's not. Again, not impressed. Give or take, this is probably the room that they've probably been in like three times, if I think, yes. And that's probably it. This is, this is like the Godfather room. So I would just love to sit White Sox Dave right there and just fire him. <laughs> Get out. Likewise. We're doing a bathroom counter, bathroom number one. This is crazy. Do you imagine just having like Christmas or Thanksgiving here? My family's been sitting on Chicago Park District fold out chairs for like my whole life. But Dave just said, say what you said there? It's a breakfast nook. <laughs> Am I wrong? Solely oh, breakfast. It's so beautiful. You got it. Solely breakfast? It's the breakfast room, <laughs> breakfast nook. <laughs> it's, these are called. Because I know, you have your dining room, room for dinner, this uh, is where you have breakfast. He's right. I'm tired of my guy getting made fun of for well, knowing things. I'm also happy that that's like the thing he's been impressed by the most. <laughs> breakfast. Excuse me for that, Norma. Breakfast table was. <laughs> Table's a table. You any meal you can have on. What's this button do? <laughs> Calls the elevator. Oh, so yeah, but you gotta call it. You gotta call it. You gotta call it. You gotta wait. It'll come up. Uh, uh, have you ever seen an elevator like this before? So you guys I have. can take it upstairs. Let me go upstairs. Rich silver boy. I forgot. Yeah. Are we counting half past as one full bath? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Two. Two. Two half baths, one full. If it doesn't, this is kind point. of claustrophobic. I'm scared of this elevator. Why would you walk up steps when you can take ha twice the amount of time to take an elevator? <laughs> this is one of the five bedrooms upstairs. Okay. As I was telling you, they're all en suite, so they all have their own full bath. Some are a little bigger than others, but this one's pretty big. Great. Bathroom number three. Okay. Bathroom number four. Bathroom number five. Bathroom number six. Bathroom number seven. Oh my god. Five knobs. What kind of water are we doing here? This one's from Lake Michigan. This one's from Russia River. Primary, primary bedroom. Most people only have one primary bedroom. This one, two primaries. No, this looks where like you're in trouble. And you're getting, I was going to say the same thing. You're getting bitched out. Yeah. <laughs> What'd That's, you do? You got like a C or D. Yeah. That's where you go. Never had to worry about that. Yeah, he was only getting naps. This is insane. All right, I'll shower in here, actually. A nice pergola. I've never seen an inside pergola before. Bathroom 8. I'd be in here until my whole body's pruned. Hey, Ed, what is this uh, wooden great thing called? Uh, 
Oh, it's got a nice lacquer on it. Pergola. Pergola. That's a pergola. See, who knows that? That's a pergola. We should have been doing this the whole time. Let's see which one's the best for a shower now. Yeah. No, I, I've, I've been scouting them out. Trust me, I'm waiting yeah, until, yeah. yes, I'm making mental notes. Full sprawl. Some shower angels in here. I like froze Walt Disney in here, dude. <laughs> it's like a chamber. A game of hide and seek here would have more kids okay. missing than I'm yeah. Stevens Island. You can't even call this a basement. This is no. the lower level. This is like another part of the house. It's why yeah. would you leave the house? Just bury me there. I gotta get rich. Yeah, how do we get rich? The theater has a subscription called Kaleidoscape. Okay. So it's constantly playing all of the movies that are currently out in the theater. So there's I didn't even know that that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't either. It's you can thing. watch movies at home? Yes. Man, I, can, the theater, so. I could go watch Barbie right now. You don't even got a sneak candy in this theater. They already got it here for you. And it's not nine bucks for a pack of m and I think I'm done with the core. With the tour, I'm just gonna melt on a recliner. Hey, Danny, can you fetch me a Miller Lite, please? <laughs> uh, if you didn't, if you didn't use the word fetch, I might. So bury me in there, bury me here. I watched so many. Is it uh, possible that you have 80 for Brady here? Now, what's next? I have to show you guys the spa, and you can make it a cold plunge. You can turn on the hot. You can turn on the current. Just swim against the current. Just get a good workout in. You have a steam shower. <laughs> What a pervert. Make yourself at home, Dan. You want to you wanna try it? Yeah, cool. Alright, let's do it. Maybe let's stop making this. I get splashed. I want this all blurred out. I'm going to fancy that trust Dan Connor. Splash, idiot. You got it on the ceiling. See that laugh about it? What a great house. You know, the bad part about doing a cannibal in a small room like this is it's basically a hurt. Sorry, Lauren. It was for the shot. I got a mean cannibal. I don't know if I can apologize for that. Did you like that cannonball? Uh, that's why I went behind the glass. People thought I was crazy. Small room, small pool. I knew it was going to splash like that. One of the richest mansions in Abramville, they said. Just kick back and relax, they said. I'm a custodian now. Should've dove. Should've dove. Well, I guess this is a good time to show you the nines bathroom. I went full Nelk boy back there. At least we won't have to script the part in cribs or like, all right, now get the fuck out. Cause it looks like that might actually happen. What a Sunday, huh? I mean, what a Sunday is right. We got the recliners, we got the big screen, we got NFL football. Great Sunday in Naperville. Maybe the best part, watching football with no bears. That's nice, don't gotta get angry for once. Jesus Christ, man. I, I didn't mean to do that. What okay. happened? Come I, on, Dave. All right, so hey, it was a great day in Naperville, but uh, you know how these things end, and they end with, you gotta get out, we gotta go finish Top Gun, so, see ya. Later, Lions. Bye. Get out. No, oh. you guys all gotta go. Out. Oh, all shit, of you. really? Yeah, you guys gotta all go. All of us? All right. All right. <laughs> all right. You guys all gotta go. All right, we're leaving. Bye. I got kicked out a while ago. Eddie, you got any plans this weekend? I got some big plans because college football championship weekend is here. Pac-12 championship is going to be great. Uh, SEC championship is going to be great. Uh, Big Ten championship. Maybe not the best, but I do know it will be great alongside us, and that'll be a nice, great-tasting, less-filling Miller Lite. Here you go, Dave. You want one? Yeah, why not? Let's do one, Chief. Pass it down. Uncle Chaps, you gonna have a brewski with us? Bang, look at that. That's a, like Stone Cold in the 90s. That was like a little triple option pass right there. Well, Just a little. This is one of those things. Football season is, uh, this is like the last real college football weekend. So you gotta appreciate it. You gotta appreciate these Miller Lights because they get it. Don't waste an ounce and don't waste a week of football season. You gotta appreciate every little last drop. And what's great too, besides it exploding all over the studio, is that you can get this delivered right to your door when you go to MillerLite.com slash redline or you could find these pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. Just make sure you sell very responsibly. Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories, 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Keep watching Stool Scenes. Uh, keep watching 773 TV. Please subscribe and uh, keep watching. <coughs>
I was, you couldn't have gotten it on the first try. I was holding it sneezing for like 30 seconds and you butchered it at the end. What do you want me to do? I can't get it. I'll have a Miller Lite day. I'll have a Miller Lite day. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Welcome Good. to the new dicks. Thanks, this is so nice. Yeah, you guys have upgraded. A little bit. A little bit. We should make these guys talk about their teams the way the way you have to. Just being yes. as, as passive aggressive <laughs> without being too blatantly mean as you possibly can. Dave, can you do it? A full blown PR. No, role. I couldn't do it. I'll just be mean mean. They need to have their nose rubbed in their mess <laughs> like a puppy who took a shit on the living room carpet. All Those are the do. kinds of things that I can't say. <laughs> I love the secret room. Is there a password? Is there a secret handshake? Uh, I wish there was a password. We'll, oh, that'll wow. be an improvement for next time. But. Nice. So this is supposedly this is supposed to be for like the celebrities, but I haven't seen anybody in here oh, except for you. Me in here. Except for <laughs> I figured that's double blue. I'm and Dave will what? do the rest of the tour. <laughs> All right. Where's he going? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Hit the oh, rim. Yeah, it's all that matters. Oh. You always just gotta chuck. Ah, there's cameras there. I'm gonna have to do another tour so you can make one. Oh. No, no room there either. Okay. Don't you guys have to go to a game and see what Dave puts Vaseline on his face? Oh. Oh, I did hear about that. Dave just like all moved <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm gonna see him White from lube. I might look up and just see this guy glistening. <laughs> yeah. Dave. See it'll be like the fucking Aria pool. It'll just be shining <laughs> off his face. <laughs> when the like, sun yeah. hits it. Yeah. That's a real the players thing can't People see. do that. That's real. For for like tailgates or for like they're going to hike Everest? No, they're going into, <laughs> into watch the, negative the cold tundra. Yeah. Because right. your body gets I cold I hate to side with Dave, but. <laughs> we weren't saying that it was not a thing. We were just saying that it's some. Aggressive for the yes. environment. It's exactly. aggressive. Yeah. He seems like an aggressive guy, though. Uh, most aggressive guy ever. <laughs> it takes a two minute clip to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You didn't see that coming. Yeah, that's, Nobody saw that. That's a move. A lot of people don't know about that. <laughs> they don't know. I forgot about it, for being honest. <laughs> but it's there. This guy's like, we're trying to cure your yes. Cut that part. <laughs> the yips are still there. Hey, Chief. How's your eye feeling? Dave, Sunday night, Monday night, just... He wanted to make a pact, so he hacked a big loogie in his hand, and I got a ricochet splatter back into the left, right into my eyeball. Can we make a pact between the three of us? What? N no Bears talk at all tomorrow on the show. I mean, <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Wait, did they get in your eye? Dude, get out of here. You had to make a pact. Oh, my God. That's how you God. do it. God. What the fuck, dude? You gotta fucking, spit in my eyeball. It's fucking flu season, dude. Do you want to talk bears or not? You're a foul boy, and that might have been the most foul thing you've ever done. Disgusting. I have been actually kind of sick ever since. So, this guy's gross. He's just a flat, he's a gross human being. He's gross. I apologized. <laughs> Shouldn't have been standing there. Did you see uh, Dave spitting Chief's eye? Is that what you're talking about? Third time about Chief getting hacked. There's a fake Chief on Instagram right now. Unfollow him, report him. Barstool Chief with three O's. Probably in your DMs trying to sell your Ray Bans right now or something. Actually, on second thought, it could be actual Chief. I'm not even sure which one is real anymore. Are you real Chief or fake Chief? Chief Inception. I think I'm the real one, but this could be a simulation. Who knows? Maybe that is a real Chief. It's a good sell. The guy already has over 14,000 followers, has all Chiefs, old pictures, even posted the Hulk Harrelson clip. I want to talk to this guy. Like, what's your What's your end game? Like, he is. He bought 14,000 followers. I only have 25,000. I don't really even know how to use this. He might be better. I might hire this guy. Got a fake Chief. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, did you report it? No, he didn't. probably said his DMs. <laughs> you're, re you're ready to record? He didn't report it. He's not a, you know, not a team guy. I put a megaphone to his mouth. Because we need fake chief over real chief, right, Dave? I don't think so. Don't you're on an island now. How could you say you don't want fake chief? You never even met him. He could be the man. That's true. That is true. I do want to talk to this guy. 
and I did report it. So, did so you actually? yes, I did. Okay. Right. It didn't let you put me. It didn't let me put you in there as a public figure or a celebrity, though. Yeah, unfortunately, not I, I just put someone I know. Yeah. That's that's disheartening too. That's actually kind of like a Danny problem, isn't he? The one in charge of our social media is supposed to get us verified. I'll get more clout. Can we talk to bad. Gas? It's too late now. Your your fake he was probably gonna get verified before you. <laughs> then he if he does, then he is the real me. Davy Pico. This thing's warm. That's why I wore it today. Yeah. Davy Pico, that's my favorite uh, White Sox Dave. Pico Sox Dave. It's warm. Yeah. Uh, you get a lip roller? Yeah. That's on the to do. That's uh I'm gonna get that probably next time I go to the grocery store. What is that, Ace Piccolo? Oh, this? Ace. It's, it's, it's in his cage? Ace? Yeah. I don't cage Ace. Oh. He doesn't need to be caged. <laughs> All right, I didn't know. I wasn't accusating anything, I just... Think my dog needs to be caged. You think Chief's dog needs to be caged? No, but he probably does, because... Yeah. What? He's a weirdo. Chief's dog's weird? No. Well, he's afraid of things. He's afraid of the train, right? Anything loud. People don't mm -hmm. like those basketballs bouncing. Oh, really? Mm -mm. Ace, it doesn't phase your no. dog. He's a tough dog like you. He's a, he's a pit bull. Shout out Dog Socks Dave. Shout out Peacoat Socks Dave. Shout out Banana Bread Socks Dave. Oh.